Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniel and in this video I want to show you the product update, um, the real, real good update for the product management for your Merch by Amazon business. And I want to show you how to export your uh, products for the Merch by Amazon advertising program. So please um, look the video till the end and I show you how I made this for testing my, uh, you know, testing new products. Um, and please be patient with me. Normally, this is a native German speaking channel, and I am uh, yeah, currently learning English now the last years, and so it is not as good as a native uh, English speaker. So, if you have questions or if something is unclear, please uh, put it in the comments below. And um, yeah, for all the Germans here, um, herzlich willkommen auf dem Kanal. Das ist ein Sondervideo für den Produkter. Um, wenn ihr das deutsche Video sehen wollt, dann schaut bitte hier auf der Karte, da ist das deutsche Video dazu. So, this was for my German friends and for all the English friends. Uh, let's just watch over my shoulder on my computer and I will show you the Produkter um, a product uh, sorting feature, uh, what kind of things are new and how to save a layout and how to export for the Merch by Amazon advertising program. So have fun and watch me over my shoulder now. So this is the overview here from the producter and if you don't know where I am here, you have to first install the producter for Merch by Amazon. You can get it really fast under the video. You can click on the link and download it. If you don't want to do that, you can go on Google and do a quick search producter for Merch by Amazon and then you will find this Chrome plugin. And after installing, there must be here these buttons here in your Merch by Amazon account. And here under products, you will find the um, this uh, design or product management view. And normally it should look like this here. Um, and uh, what I want to talk about is how fast this is really. I, I, if you know the, the um, product management before, it was really, really slow. And I mean, this is massive data. You have now 101,867 products here in the background. And when you uh, do here a little, um, yeah, you can click here button and you can uh, um, uh, resort the products and it's really fast going for this massive amount of data. I mean, maybe some of you guys have uh, more data, but um, this is really, really cool now. So sometimes you know, before the update, sometimes the complete product management uh, um, yeah, was blowing up and it loads so slow and now it's really, really good. And the next cool thing is you have now here the layout section. So you can now um, rearrange here this uh, table like you want to do. You can uh, click here and you can do drag and drop. Um, you can click here and click here on this option here and then you can uh, um, yeah, remove things or you can uh, yeah, show things. And um, this is so, so cool. So you create your own table and your own layout. Depends on what you want to do with the layout or with the product. And this is a thing. So some layouts I use uh, for exporting uh, for my uh, merch by Amazon advertising. And um, yeah, please do that. What kind of data you need and then click here on save layout and then the layouts is saved. So I have here uh, my export layouts uh, for the ads and I will uh, load that up in a second. Yeah, and then it's there. Um, and if sometimes um, maybe you crush the table or you have something that doesn't work really, you can always hit here clear filters and reset columns and then all is uh, gone. We can do that here and then I will show you how this looks like. So reset columns, then normally it yeah, should look like the um, uh, like uh, before without any filter options. So I want to, don't want to let you see that. Then uh, yeah, let's just load uh, another um, layout again, the export layout ads function. So what I uh, recommend you to do if you want to test products um, for different marketplaces. Um, I have uh, 
pinned me here on the left side the following options. So the status is live. So um, maybe you ask uh, yourself the question, how can I pin this um, yeah, configured uh, uh, data here? You can click here, click here on the three lines here and then pin column and pin to the left or pin to the right, depends on what you prefer. I uh, prefer to pin on the left and then auto size this column and um, you can auto size here or you can move it here around like you want. You can double click, then it's auto size too. And this is a real good function because then I have my data complete structured and I directly see, oh, okay, what kind of uh, things here sold, what, uh, yeah, and what kind of marketplace I want to export my ads. So this is the next thing I want you to uh, explain. So if I have maybe uh, I've created, um, so I, when I test, things sorry for my bad explanation here it's uh, the first time I, I make a video completely in english and when i want to test my designs maybe from the last uh, month then i will click here on this uh, option here and then i will click here last month and go on so then he will show me all the products in my current marketplace i want to export the ads from germany so this is very important and i want only test the shirt because i am uh, uh yeah i want to only test the shirt because the shirt is that product what sells the most of the time and um, that works really really well so now he's only showing me the standard t-shirt um, and the products that are live. Now well, it's very important that you click here and select here live. And then there are 178 designs that I have uploaded last month. And these designs I want to test now with my uh, um, Amazon advertising campaign. So I click here. So all the 178 uh, lines are selected. Then I'm clicking here on create Amazon, Amazon advertising bulk import. So what is this bulk import? You have on your Amazon uh, merchandising account, the, uh, you can import the Excel sheets and the product generates in the background uh, an Excel sheet. And here you have different options. You can uh, uh, export campaign per ASIN. You can export campaign per design. So what is the difference here between this? Campaign per ASIN is for all products you have selected. He will create a campaign for everything one. So for every every product has an ASIN number and then you, you will create, if I export all, he will create 101,000 uh, uh, campaigns. But if I click here campaign per design, then he creates for every design uh, uh, campaign and in this uh, campaign there are the products uh, uh, as an uh, uh, I don't know the English word for that as an uh, uh, in German it's Anzeigengruppe as a group inside this campaign so you know the difference and campaign by brand is the same uh, style you will get only campaigns for your different brands you created and inside this brand campaign they are differentiated uh, I think per design but I'm not sure maybe per ASIN or per product I don't know I, I don't haven't really used that um, what I really uh, like and what works for me good is here add group per design because then he will uh, make for every <coughs> design one campaign uh, uh, sorry, then he will make one campaign with uh, inside this campaign with uh, every uh, um, every design as an ad group. And um, because I selected only the standard shirt, they will uh, only add groups with the standard shirt. And then you have a, a bulk campaign. So uh, um, uh, I will <coughs> give it a daily budget for, uh, to from. 20 euros and a max bit from 22 cents. So if you have, yeah, if you have 170, so depends on how much, uh, um, yeah, designs you have inside. Maybe with with 200 products, you can directly give 50 euros or 50 dollar 
or $100 to test. So please be aware uh, if you do Amazon advertising that this campaign is uh, generating costs. Um, we have selected here the uh, um, bid type, uh, it's an auto bid uh, where he um, don't um, build up the bid so he only reduces the bid. Uh, and then normally he doesn't spend 50 euros per day, he normally spends less than that. But um, please be aware and look after your ads after this testing campaign. That's very important. And normally you get good data back, you get really good sales in this uh, campaign. And um, if something is not working, kill it. You can pause the ad group and then or the design and then all is well. And um, I will show you, but I will show you that in the uh, Amazon advertising uh, program in a minute uh, too. Um, in this this uh, merge advertising account, um, when you go on the ad level, then you see for every design um, uh, data. So we have then there uh, um, keyword data, we have product data, and we can, if you want to, can build out of this data then manual campaigns, if you want to. So. Uh, you must click here um, now on the marketplace, then give your campaign uh, uh, a name. Um, I normally uh, make this here, this format year, month, and um, then I will say something like uh, test new t-shirts or normally my naming is like this here, ad group. So I know, okay, this is my testing campaign. And um, yeah, here give yourself this budget. Um, if you want to, you can test with lower bits, but um, my recommendation is 20 or 25 because then normally the campaigns get traffic and uh, you will get a, a good performance of your um, campaign. Um, what you need is the portfolio idea. Where do you get the portfolio idea? So for this, I have to switch in my Amazon uh, marketing account. So uh, just wait a second here and I will switch here in the uh, US marketing account. So this is my Amazon marketing account. If you don't know where you are here, then please click here on sponsored ads and then on bulk operations. And there we, you will be here on the, the right place. And the portfolio ID is from your campaigns. Um, ah, sorry, I forgot. You first of all have to go in the campaign manager if you don't have portfolios, that's very important. If you don't have uh, portfolios, um, you have to create a portfolio. So this is here, this button, create a portfolio, then give it, give it a name, maybe test group or stuff like that. So we only need the number from the uh, portfolio. Click on here. And if you have made that, then please go one step back or here, click on bulk operations and then click here on the date range today and create spreadsheet for download. And then you will get after some minutes a file. And in this file, you will find your portfolio ideas. Um, click on download, open it. And here is your uh, portfolio idea, YouTube video. So this is the correct portfolio idea. And um, this ID you will have to insert here and then it works. So we can uh, try that out. Ah, sorry, I have, uh, don't, it uh, is not working because I have selected the German marketplace. So no problem. Normally it, you can, will get a download and this sheet you can upload then here on the bulk operations here on chose file. And then it will show up in your, after some time in your, um, uh, here on your management, campaign management. And when you want to bulk edit the bit, maybe the bit is uh, too low, uh, or you want to, to, to change the bit for all your campaigns, then you can click here on targeting and um, click here on targeting. And then 
you can search for your ad group campaign. So we have to wait a little bit because uh, that's much data here will crawl. And here you see I have um, I have clicked here the uh, the filters here. So let's just make remove all and then filter by campaigns or add groups and then it will open a window where you can put in the the name from your campaign add group and normally here it will show up so you can uh, you can select it and please select uh, apply and then you will get all your um, yeah your data here and you can say yeah i want to make a bulk action and here adjust my bid or apply the chest bid and then he will um, yeah bulk edit all of your uh, targeting options and um, yeah and that's for me uh, that's a really really cool function it works really, really well and i hope you have understand everything if not if something is unclear or um, you have questions please put it in the comment section below i hope you enjoyed the video and um, yeah, I wish you all the best here from Germany. Thank you for watching. Bye bye, you're Daniel.